hello guys so welcome back to photographics academy all right so today we're going to be jumping on this image by tony graffer amazing photographer so he put up this image i think last week for retouching talent so we saw it he said you know what let's just bring it to you guys so that we'll look at it together and know exactly how to approach it so this is solely for educational purpose only and trust me it's going to be an amazing type so let's quickly get started first of all of course i'm going to be taking care of the blemishes Looking at the image, you are seeing some blemishes there. So I'll just load up my retouch action. Yeah, not done for you. It's okay. So we're using this. So I'll click on my clean black and white layer. So what this does basically is that it creates a black and white adjustment layer and gives you another clean layer where you could take care of your blemishes. So you could decide to use your patch tool, your spot healing brush tool, or your healing brush tool, whatever that works for you just get it working so if you need access to this raw file you could just quickly go to his instagram handle and download it it's up there for free like i said his name is tony graffa tony graffa so if you just type tony graffa on ig you are going to see him the tony is spelled as a t-o-n-i-e yeah so i think that works all right so let's keep moving So look at these ones over here. We'll just dab on them to make sure they are gone. All right, so move here. All right, so I'm going to turn this up and check it out. This is the before, this is the after. Uh, so I'm going to delete my black and white since I'm no longer going to be needing that. All right, so we match this up and we'll quickly get down to our frequency separation. Europe, we're going to leave all of that. So I'm just going to load up my frequency separation action. So I'll be working with somewhere around 10. Yeah, because I need a lot of details retained. So let me zoom back and see. Uh, 10 is actually too low. Let's try 13. Yeah, 13 is going to be a good place to be. So I'm going to be working on my low frequency copy, but I'm going to be turning off my high frequency, pick up my mixer brush and just start painting over the image. So it's very simple what I'm doing right now. I'm going to paint on the shadows separately, paint on the highlights separately, then blend the two of them together. Just like this. Trust me, this is not going to take us a long time to get it done. I love the skin, flawless, amazing, the lightning, perfect. Okay, so we are done with our frequency separation. Let me show you exactly what it looks like. This is the before, this is the after. So I'm just going to fix one or two things using my clone stamp to fix some blemishes that I'm noticing on her face right now. So one of the things I need to fix is the frontal of her hair. So I'll just pick up my clone stamp and quickly paint over the frontals. Or rather brush over the frontal just to blend it in. All right, so you can as well decide to fix this hair if you wish to. But I think I'm going to leave it. I think I like it the way it is there. If you want to fix it, you could just use your clone stamp over this. Remember, it's in the texture and in the color. So after doing that, you have to go back to your low and also repeat the same thing. Or rather, close your frequency separation and use your patch tool and you will get the same result. 
basically so i'm going to take care of this look at this one all right so quickly we are going to run our dodge and burn very quickly so i'm going to just click on my dodge click on my burn as well so i'm going to turn up my frequency separation pick up my brush so that i will see exactly the way the lightning is having effect on the image we're going to be brushing with let's brush with three our flow at three our opacity at 100 so i'll just quickly paint over some highlights just a very quick one all right quickly over our eyes here same over here for this area so we are trying to keep it as clean as possible. Let me quickly pick up my bone and burn this area. This area. Just a dog. Right here. Beautiful. So we'll go to the dodge. All right. So let's check the before and after the before. This is our bun. This is our dodge. So I think my dodge needs just a very tiny bit of dabbing here. Yeah? Something over here. Then for the lips, I'm going to take it quite high. So that I'll quickly touch the lips. Something here. Something here. Something here. Then for my bun, do the same thing over here. All right, and we are good to go. So turn on our frequent operation back. And this is what we have on our dodge up one, the before, the after, the before, the after. So you see the way we just maintain the flow of the light. Very, very important. And we are good to go. So the next thing I want to quickly do right now is to, the next thing I want to do is to color grade the image. I already have a color grade lot that I'm going to be using. So if you are interested in getting the lot, just comment interested in the comment section and also click on the uh, WhatsApp community link pasted in the video description and you will get full access to the lot. So I'm just going to quickly load it up. So this is the lot we are going to be working with the before, the after. I love the way it's maintaining the look, except for the fact that the shadows are looking slightly darker. So I'm going to reduce this. Very, very important. I'm just going to bring it down, pick up my curves, open up the shadows a little from here. Yeah, press Ctrl I, pick up your brush, and just paint that shadow in. Of course, we'll need to reduce it. Now, the last. Thing I need to do is to take it to my camera roll and just do a very quick adjustment to the colors because I need it to push towards the warm tones a bit to push up the greens and all of that so just a very tiny move in colors and we are good to go just push up the temperature a little bit towards the warm tones yeah beautiful then go to my color mixer i want my greens to pop a little but i do not want it to push towards the yellow tone so i'm going to hue it a little to push it towards the greens beautiful 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 and this is it so you might decide to practically increase the vibrance if you wish to but i think i'm okay with what i had and this is how we do it my brother so the last thing I'm going to do is just to quickly apply an icon for you to give it the final look and the final take on the image. And we are good to go. So I'm just going to quickly load up my done for you retouch action. So I'm, I'll be keeping it somewhere around 10. Press OK. All right, so this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. All right, so I'm going to bring it down a bit, just a little, because I love the way it's looking. Just a little. Beautiful. 
and we are good to go thank you so much for watching like i said before in case if you want the the lots that we use just make sure you join our whatsapp community comment interesting in the comment section click on the whatsapp community link pasted in the comment section in the description of the video right now and you will be able to gain access to it thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel if you do subscribe turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video until then see you on the next one